I'm here with Jay Rats outside Old Trafford, 2-2 against Burnley today, another draw against them. Um, same disappointment as last year, although a few more goals, Jay. Sorry about that, mid Burnley. It's all right, yeah, it was a little abuse off Burnley fans. Um, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. I mean, it just looked like a bit of a shambles at the back. One thing you expect of Mourinho team is organised defensively. We saw it against Leicester, we've fallen apart against Bristol City. And again today, you know, just everyone seems to be lacking confidence. We're just lacking leaders. We need some leadership on the pitch. Just, we just haven't got it in a minute, I'm afraid to say. Well... <laughs> Is it a case that then the defence is just not good enough? Because we seem when we defensively play well, we keep a lot of clean sheets. But then at home in some games, we're just awful. Today we had Ashley Young, uh, Jones in there, Rojo. Um, there were a lot of players still at the club that we expected to have gone, but Jose's got a bit more out of them. But do you still think lacking that bit of quality? Just, it just seems to be a little bit of a lack of quality. But I think, again, it goes back to leadership. You need someone at the back who's going to be a leader. Ashley Young's been captain. Is he a leader, though? Is Phil Jones a leader? Is, is Rojo a leader? Luke Shaw's coming back from a long swim injury. Finally getting the games that I want to see him getting. But again, is he a leader? You need someone like... There you go, you see as well. I don't know about that one. But, you know, you need someone who's going to stand at the back, organise the defence. You need someone who's going to get hold of the ball in the middle and make things happen and get everyone around him going. When we went to 2-2, they're all waving to the crowd, you know, saying to the crowd, come on, get behind us and all that. Should we do that with each other? Who's leading on the pitch? Never mind getting the crowd, saying to the crowd, come on, get behind us. Do something with the ball, make it happen. And you could just feel there was like a lack of encouragement from the team to the crowd during the game. Like, normally 2-1, 2-0 down everyone's up for it come on reds and it, it just didn't feel that today it just feels like everything's a little bit flat at the minute just the atmosphere feels a little bit flat the players don't seem up for it so, to be honest with you it's the same old thing we've seen the first man hit and every time a cross comes in Lukaku just you know I thought against um, Leicester despite you know what happened I thought he played well but today he wasn't at the races at all I mean one header he looked like he was clearing it for them I mean you know it's you expect better I mean, you expect better from Manchester think like the, a lot of the fans feel like the title's over do you think that negativity I know it's Sounds to, but you think that's seeped into the players now? Because they're playing like it. It doesn't matter whether you think the title's over or not. You want to win games. I mean, the scouts are breathing down our necks as well. There's other things to play for than just obviously going for the title, which we want to do. You can't just say, oh, well, the title's over. That's it now. Let's down tools in uh, in December. We've got to go for it. We should be we should be buying teams like Burnley. I know they've been playing well this season, but we should be beating them. We should be beating teams like Leicester. We should be beating Bristol City. We're just not doing it in a minute. Defo, any positives today? <laughs> Apart from Jesse, who seems like the only one with a bit of confidence. That's funny how everyone's turned on Jesse and I, they're, they're buying into what Could we've have been had a hat trick today. We've been saying it for years, Jesse, Luke Shaw again. I'm, you know, I'm a massive Luke Shaw fan. There are, there are positives, but it's difficult to find too many after a game like that. Touch of the Poborskis about that first goal, though. I remember, <laughs> I remember, was it 7 0 against Barnsley and Poborski did it sharp against Barcelona? Like. Sharp, that's, that's what I was thinking, sharp against Barnsley. That's when you know you've got a player who's just world class, you know what I mean? Mark my, my words, a couple of, couple of years, Ballon d'Ors is. <laughs> <laughs>